a present helper. We saw yesterday that everybody is asking who can give me or who can send me help. According to the book of Psalm 4, verse 6, who shall show me any good? Who can give me, who can send me any help? Everybody in this present, uh, present world is asking, Nani anawesa nisaidia. And we saw it yesterday that our God is a present helper. He's there. When we call him, he can send help to us. According also to the book of Psalm 54, verses 4, our God is available. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is there to help us. Every time we call him, he's available to send his help to us. Psalm 33, verses 20. Psalm 33, verses 20. Our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. My soul waited for the Lord. He is my help and my shield. God is ready to help anyone who will call him for help. If you are not helped by God, you have not received any help. That is in the book of Psalm 60, verses 11. You need the help of God. If you are not helped by God, you have no help at all. Give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. Give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. A man not helped by God has no help. If you are helped by God, you are helped indeed. And we saw yesterday, we started that help is the hand of God giving assistance to man. The hand of God. And we said yesterday, it is an invisible hand of God. The hand that no man can see with mere eyes. It is a hand that is helping you. A hand that nobody can see it, that comes to assist you for you to become all what God ordained you to become. You cannot become without the help of God. You cannot finish your assignment here on earth without the help of God. You need the help of God for you to accomplish your assignment here on earth. We need this invisible heart. We need this help of God. Our assignment is so big to acquire it by yourself. You need an extra heart. You need the help of God for you to accomplish your assignment here on earth. And we started two examples in the Bible, the example of David. David was helped by God to kill Goriath. Goriath despised David. And he called him a young man. That who is he? Seeing me, am I a dog that you, you can come to me? You, David. But he didn't know that it was an extra hand there was an invisible hand that was helping David. That is what Goliath could not know. He couldn't know and he couldn't see the other hand which shall help God, uh, David to finish him. He needed, David needed the invisible hand to finish or to kill Goliath. For you to kill any Goliath in your life, anything that is, seems impossible in your life, you need the help of God. David was assisted by God to kill uh, Goliath. The man Uzziah was helped by God, and we saw that he was marvelously helped by God. We saw that he was able to break walls in the book of 2 Corinthians 26, 1 up to verses 15. He was able to break walls. He was able to build towers in Jerusalem. He was able to build towers in the desert. 
A man that is helped by God, he can do the impossible. The man Uziah was able to build the, to build the towers even in the desert because he was helped by God. He was able even to maneuver, to navigate in the desert, build the towers because he was helped by God. He had a great host of fighting men. This man was helped by God greatly. And we saw there were thousands and thousands of them in verses 11 to 13. There were thousands of these great men that were helping him to defeat the enemy. And the Bible says that Uziah made to them helmet, shield, himself, he alone, verses 14, without being held by any man. He made helmet to this great army. A man who is helped by God. He did a work that can be done by many. But him alone, he was able to prepare the machineries for the people, for the great army in verses 14. He was able to make Uziah made. The Bible says he made second, second chronicles. He made himself, himself, he made them. And verses 15, the man, the man made agents invented by cunning men. As we finish, he says, for he was marvelously helped till he was strong. Don't joke with a man that is helped by God. If you receive the help of God, you can do great things in this life. And today we said we are going to learn two examples, uh, two lessons that we learn from the story of David and the story of Uzziah. How God helped David. How God helped Uzziah. Number one, David was helped by God because he trusted God. If you want to receive the help of God, put your trust in the Lord. Psalm 146 verses 3. Put your trust in the Lord. Don't trust any man for your help. Don't trust your, your help from all from your might. It is not by might. It is by the help of God. Put uh, Psalm 146 verses 3. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. Every time you put your trust in man, every time your trust is on another man, you will not receive the help of God. Jeremiah 17, verses 5. Cast is any man that trusted on another man. Jeremiah 17, verses 5. Cast is any man that trusted in a man and maketh fresh his arm and whose heart departed from the Lord. Every time you trust a man, your heart has departed from the Lord. When your heart departed, departs from the Lord, you will not receive the help of God. The man David, from the story of David, was armed by Saul, 1 Samuel 17, 38. The man David was armed by Saul to go and fight at Goriath, 17, 38, 38, 38. He was armed so that he may go and fight as a Goriath. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his hand. Also, he armed him with a coat of mail 39. And David guided his sword upon his armor and ascended to go, for he had not proved it. And David said unto Saul, I cannot go with this. For I have not proved them. And David put them down. His trust was not on the machineries. His trust was not being armed. His trust was in the Lord. He put them down. The Bible says, 
For I have not proved them and put them off. He put David, put them off. I have no trust on these things that you are putting on me. I have trust in my God. We see that in verses 42. David put them off, verses 42. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he dis disdained him, for he was but a youth, a ruddy, and a fair countenance. 44, 43. And Philippians said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with staffs? And the Philistine cast David by his gods. 44. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give thy flesh unto the froth of the air and to the beast of the field, 45. And then David to the Philistines, thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord. I come to you in the name of the Lord. I don't trust what soul you are giving me. I don't trust the helmet that you are giving me. I don't trust what you are giving me. And that is why David kept them down and trusted the name of the Lord. He said, I kept them down because I have not proved them. I have proved the name of the Lord that the help of God will help me. And that is why David had to put them down down because he has not proved them. David had proved the help of God. David knew the name of the Lord will help him. He put them down and told Goliath, you come to me with swords, with spears, and with a shield, but I come to you in the name of the Lord. The God of the armies of Israel, whom thou have defiled. I come to you in the name of the Lord. In every situation, trust the Lord. Don't trust the help of any man. Trust the help of God. I will come, I will face this situation with the help of God. I have not proved anything else. I prove the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a key to access the divine help of God. David knew there is a key that can finish Goliath. He knew the name of the Lord is a key to access the help of God. He used this name to access the help of God. Use the name of the Lord to receive the help from God. Every man that has been helped by God has used this key and has received the help of God. Use the help of God. Proudly say, I am a man helped by God. I am a man who has received the help of God. Before you water down, before you despise any man, before you despise any man, verify where, whether there is any system of divine help. Before you despise any man, Verify whether there is the system of divine help. Some, uh, the first, uh, verses 42 and 43. We see Goriath, 40, the same chapter, 42. We see Goriath despising David. Before you despise and call me a youth, a ruddy, and of fair countenance, 40, 43. And I'm a dog. Am I a dog? He despised David. Before you despise, verify whether there is this invisible hand that can help a man. Don't try to joke with a man that, that is helped of God. David was totally helped for, by God. And he was able to finish Goliath because of the help of God. I decree and declare the hand of God upon your life. May you receive the help of God. Your help will not come from any man. Your help will not come from your strength. Your help will come from God. I decree divine help of God. Receive the help of God. Receive the help of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Man helped by God will comfortably say, Psalm 118 verses 23. A man helped by God will comfortably say, Psalm 118 verses 23, Psalm, Psalm 
118 will comfortably say, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous on my eyes. When David looked at Goliath, who was armed, a big man of six cubits, when David looked at this, he said, this is the doing of the Lord. It is marvelous on my eyes. May the Lord help you until he changes your song. May the Lord help you. When you see where God has taken you, you will say, this is the Lord's doing. It cannot be the hand of man. It can only be the hand of God. This is marvelous on my eyes. May the Lord change your story. May the Lord change your story. In Jesus' mighty name. Number two. Why David received the help of God. Number two, he remembered the doings of the Lord. Every person who will remember the doings of the Lord will receive the help of God. First Samuel 17, 32. The story of David. First Samuel 17, 32. David remembered. Yes, this is the man. This is Goliath. But I know I will give him. And David said to Saul, 1 Samuel 17, 32. And David said to Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. 33, verses 33, verses 33. And Saul said to David, thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him. For thou art but a youth and he is a man of war from his youth, 34. And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and they came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the frock, 35. And I went out after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he rose again, Against me, I caught him by his beard and smote him and slew him. 36. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine shall be as one of them, since he defiled the armies of the living God. 37, the last one. David said, moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of the Philistine. And the Saul said unto David, go, the Lord be with you. David remembered and he told them, we are going to have the victory. I remember the Lord that gave me the victory. I remember the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion. I remember him delivering me from the paw of the bear. If he delivered me, he will deliver me even now. A man that remembers the doings of the Lord will receive the help of God. Any person who remembers the Lord that healed me last year, he is the same God that is going to heal me. The Lord who did it for me two years ago, he is the same God that is doing it for me now. Any person that needs the help of God will have to remember the mighty God that has done it in your life. If you want to receive the help of God, be a man who can remember where God has delivered you from. If you want to remember what God, the help of God, if you want to receive the help of God, remember what he did for you. Every time you are, daddy told us in the word of God, we are not supposed to look back. But every moment we are allowed to look back, it is when we are remembering what God did for you. If God delivered me when I was giving birth to my second born, he will deliver me even in this second born, in my, in my first born. I know he will deliver me even in giving birth to my second born. When you remember what he did to you, you will receive the help of God. Any person who will not receive the help of God is a person who forgets the mighty hand of God. Every time you remember, you receive the help of God. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 78, verses 40, as we conclude. Psalm 78, 40. How oft they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert, 41. 
Yeah. They turned back, tempted God, limited the Holy One of Israel. 42. They remembered not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from the enemies. The children of Israel forgot the doings of the Lord. If you read it up to 56, you will see how God was reminding them. They forgot how they crossed the Red Sea. They forgot how he gave them manna. They forgot how he smote the Egyptian. They forgot and limited the mighty hand of God. Every time you forget, you limit the help of God. If God was to help you, and when you mama, when you cannot remember what he has done in your life, you limit the help of God. I will not limit the help of God. Open your mouth and say, I will not limit the help of God. I will remember what God did for me. I will remember what God has done for me. I will remember and I will receive the help. They forgot. All oh, the way they forgot. They forgot the signs and the wonders. When you continue, verses 56 says, the same chapter, uh, Psalm 78, 56. Yet they tempted and provoked the Most High God and kept not his testimony. If you want to receive the help of God, Keep the testimonies. Keep the testimonies that he did it, he will do it. He healed me, he will do it for me. He gave me money, even this time he will give me. He is the one who has sustained me. I am alive because he has a good plan for me. He has a good to prosper me and to give me an expected end. When you remember, when you keep the testimonies of the Lord, you receive the help of God. I will keep the testimonies of God for me to receive the help of God. Verses 57. Verses 57. But turned back and dealt unfaithfully like their fathers. They were turned aside like a deceitful bull. 58. For they provoked him to anger with their high praises and moved him to jealousy with grieving, grieving images. 59. When God heard this, he was lost and greatly appalled his life. When they did not remember, they provoked him to anger. How many times do we forget what God has done for you? Before we open our mouth and complain, why God, why is it happening in my life? Have you remembered what he did for you last week? Have you remembered what he did for you even last night? For you to sleep and to wake, it takes the mighty hand of God. I slept, I woke, the Lord sustained me. You even have forgotten that even to wake up, it is the Lord that has sustained you. How many times have we provoked God to anger because of forgetting? Tell your neighbor, I will not forget the testimonies of the Lord. I will remember. Don't provoke God. Keep the testimonies of the Lord. What he has ever done, I, say, I shall remember everything that God has and I shall receive the help of God. We can start. We will see another day. We will look at the third thing that we learn from Uzziah. We can stand and pray. Father, help me that I will never forget you are doing. I will never cut short your help. I will not cut short your help by my complaining. I will not cut short my help. I will not provoke you. I will not tempt you, my God. I will not cut short your help in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, how I pray today that my God, I will not forget. I will remember what you did. I will remember what you have done in my life. I will remember what you have done in my family. I will remember and I will give thanks and I will receive the help of God. A man that wants to remember, a man that wants to receive the help of God is a man who is remembering the doings of the Lord. I will remember that he saved me. I will remember that one day he fed me. Even today he will feed me. 
me. I will remember the day we delivered me from that road accident. I will remember. Even now, my God is helping me in the mighty name of Jesus. For me to receive the help of God, I will remember. Remember what God has done for you. Remember the things that God has done for your family. Remember the things God has done for your business. Remember. Remember. Open your mouth and mention them to God. For you to receive your next level. Don't provoke. Don't limit the hand of God. For you to receive your next help. It is hidden in the remembering what God has done for you. It is hidden in your remembrance. When you remember, you receive the help of God. When you remember, you receive the next report. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will remember. I will remember what God has done for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, I remember. You gave me victory. Even now you are giving me victory. Father, I remember how you fought my battles. Even this battle, you will fight it for me. Father, I remember how you silence my enemy. Even now, Lord, I receive your help. Father, I remember how you blessed Sarah. Lord, you are blessing me. Father, I remember how you delivered the children of Israel. You have not changed. You are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. I remember. I remember. I remember how you saved the children of Israel, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, open your mouth and pray again that I will trust the Lord. I will trust the Lord with all my heart. My heart will not depart from God. Every person cast as any man that trusted on another man, and his heart has departed from the Lord. I will trust you, O God. I will trust you for my help. I trust you for my help. I trust you for my help. Father, in Jesus' name, like David trusted you, I trust your name. I trust your help. I don't trust the machineries. I don't trust the flesh of my arm. I trust you, oh God. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray from this day that I will trust you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that I will trust you. The last one, open your mouth and pray for forgiveness. Our God is a merciful God. He renews his masses each and every day. Open your mouth and pray. Father, forgive me. Renew your masses unto me. Forgive me where I have ever, my heart has ever departed from you and trusted man for my help. Father, forgive me. Father, forgive me. Where I have ever looked at my husband to help me. Father, forgive me. My help comes from the Lord. Where I looked at my friends to help me. Father, forgive Give me. My help comes from you. My help does not come from a doctor. My help does not come from my family members. My help comes from me. My father, forgive me where I trusted any man, where I trusted my flesh, where I trusted my strength, where I trusted my papers, where I trusted my qualification. Father, forgive me and set me help in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive me, O oh Lord, where I I forgot what you did to me. Father, forgive me. Open your mouth and tell him to forgive you. Where you forgot his doings. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Now that you have received the forgiveness of your sin, open your mouth and pray. Father, send me help now. Send me help now. I need your help. Open your mouth. You have received the forgiveness of sin. Open your mouth and tell him to send you help. Send me help, oh God. You are a present helper in times of trouble. This time, I need your help. Send me help, oh Lord. Send me help, oh God. Send me financial help. Send me healthy, healthy uh, help. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, send me help. My trust is in you. My trust is in you. I trust your help, oh God. I trust your help, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, I worship you. Thank you for the forgiveness of sin. 
Thank you for setting us help, oh God. Father, we shall always remember that our help comes from you. We receive the help of God this afternoon in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare as an oracle of God, writing on the wings of my Father, receive your help now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your support now. May you see the invisible hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare writing on the wings of my Father, may the help of God come your way. May the help of God come your way. Receive the help of God. Receive the divine intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. I pressure the Lord. I pressure the Lord in Jesus' name. As we package our offering, we can have our seats. A singer sang and said, I didn't know you will help me this way. I didn't know you will help me this way. I didn't know you will help me this way. In Jesus' mighty name. Package your offering this afternoon because you have received the help from God. You have received the help. Don't doubt it. You have received the help of God. Your help is coming in Jesus' name. The Lord is sending you help. The Lord is sending you help. You are receiving your help in the name of Jesus Christ. Serve the Lord. Those online and the led to GGV 97.1 the till number 837 898 837 898 837 the pay bill the business Double one eight, triple two, double one eight. The account is GGVHQ. GGVHQ. Maybe Pastor Carol can help us sing this song as we serve the Lord. You come to the altar proudly singing, I didn't know you will help me this way. I didn't know you will help me this day. We can stand on our feet. We will serve the Lord in the altar singing, I didn't know you will serve me. You will help me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, prepare your sacrifice, prepare your offering. I decree the blessings of God upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As you serve the Lord, those online, physically, I decree the blessings of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your help is coming your way. Your help is coming your way in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. In Jesus' mighty name. I didn't know you will help me this way. Amen and amen. I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. I know. I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you. Hey, I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. I didn't know you will favor me this way. Favor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Say, boy. 